a historic night in Music City. This is your moment. This is your time. This is the hour when history is made. As Donald Trump makes his first visit to Nashville as the President of the United States. From patriots of all ages. It's like really something I've never felt before because I got to see a president. I've never been that close. To partisan battles on our streets. <laughs> News Channel 5 brings you a front row seat to history. And good evening, everyone. We continue our team coverage tonight of President Trump's visit to Nashville. We just got word the president just touched down in Washington and described the rally tonight as a great crowd with great people. We begin with News Channel 5's Jason Lamb, who was front and center inside Municipal Auditorium as the president addressed the crowd. Jason. That's right, Rory. Tonight we saw a president doing what his supporters say he does best, taking his case directly to the American people in front of a very friendly crowd inside Nashville's Municipal Auditorium. To you, the 45th President of the United States, Donald J. Trump. Riding on the wave of populism that ascended him to the highest office in the land, tonight President Trump repeated a message similar to his many campaign speeches last year. It's time that Washington heard your voice, and believe me, on November 8th, they heard your voice. The president focused on his domestic policy agenda, promising to repeal and replace Obamacare, eliminating what he called job-killing federal regulations, and restating his goal to build a border wall. And for the first time, the president responded to the order today from a federal judge in Hawaii, striking down his second attempt at a temporary travel ban that was set to go into effect tomorrow. Trump said the court ruling makes the U.S. look weak. This is, in the opinion of many, an unprecedented judicial overreach. While mostly devoid from protesters inside, one did manage to catch the president's attention. Okay, let's go. One person, and they'll be the story tomorrow. Did you hear there was a protest? Trump closed his speech with an optimistic tone, similar to that of his joint address to Congress several weeks ago. Anything we can dream for our country, we can achieve for our country. All we have to do is tap into that American pride that is swelling our hearts and stirring our souls. And, and the president ended with the tagline that has now become his signature. And we will make America great again. Thank you, God bless you, thank you. All eyes are now on the president to see what he'll do next after today's court ruling striking down his travel ban. He told the crowd inside today that he'll take it all the way to the Supreme Court. The same thing he said after the court struck down his previous travel ban. Reporting live in Nashville, Jason Lamb, News Channel 5.